What is Listeria? Imagine a tiny organism so small you can't even see it. This tiny organism is called Listeria, and it can cause a serious infection called Listeriosis. Listeria lives in soil, water, and even in some animals. It can contaminate our food and make us sick. While most people don't get seriously ill from Listeria, some can experience severe symptoms. The good news is that Listeria infections are preventable. By understanding this tiny organism and how it spreads, we can protect ourselves and our families. How does Listeria spread? Listeria is tough. It can survive and even grow in cold temperatures, like in your refrigerator. This means that food stored in the fridge can still be a source of Listeria contamination. Listeria is often found in ready-to-eat foods that haven't been properly handled or stored. These include deli meats, hot dogs, unpasteurized milk, and soft cheeses. It's important to remember that cooking food thoroughly kills Listeria. However, contamination can occur after cooking if food comes into contact with contaminated surfaces or utensils. Listeria Symptoms – What to Look For Many people who are exposed to Listeria don't experience any symptoms at all. For those who do get sick, symptoms can appear anywhere from a few days to several weeks after consuming contaminated food. Common symptoms of Listeriosis include fever, muscle aches, and diarrhea. Some people may also experience nausea, vomiting, and headaches. In more serious cases, listeriosis can lead to stiff neck, confusion, and loss of balance. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's important to seek medical attention right away. Who is at risk for listeriosis? While anyone can get listeriosis, some people are at higher risk of developing severe illness. This bacterial infection can be particularly dangerous for certain groups of people, making awareness and prevention crucial. Pregnant women, newborns, older adults, and people with weakened immune systems are particularly vulnerable. These groups need to take extra precautions to avoid exposure to listeria, which can be found in contaminated food and environments. Pregnant women are about 10 times more likely to get listeriosis than other healthy adults. This increased risk is due to changes in the immune system during pregnancy, which can make it harder for the body to fight off infections. This is because pregnancy naturally weakens the immune system, making it easier for listeria to cause infection. Pregnant women should be particularly cautious about the foods they eat, avoiding unpasteurized dairy products and deli meats, which are common sources of listeria. Newborns are also at high risk, as their immune systems are still developing. This makes them less capable of fighting off infections, including listeriosis, which can be severe or even life-threatening for them. Older adults and people with weakened immune systems are more susceptible to infections in general, including listeriosis. Conditions such as cancer, diabetes, and HIV can weaken the immune system, making it harder to combat bacterial infections. Therefore, it is essential for these individuals to follow food safety guidelines and seek medical advice if they suspect exposure to listeria. Listeria infection during pregnancy can have serious consequences for both the mother and the unborn baby. In pregnant women, listeriosis can cause miscarriage, stillbirth, premature delivery, or infection of the newborn. Newborns who contract listeriosis may develop sepsis, a life-threatening bloodstream infection or meningitis, and inflammation of the membranes surrounding the brain and spinal cord. It's crucial for pregnant women to take extra precautions to avoid listeria contamination. This includes avoiding high-risk foods and practicing safe food handling habits. Diagnosing listeriosis can be challenging because its symptoms are similar to other illnesses. Symptoms like fever, muscle aches, and gastrointestinal issues can easily be mistaken for the flu or other common infections. This makes it crucial for doctors to consider a patient's full medical history and potential exposure risks. If your doctor suspects listeriosis, they will likely ask about your medical history, recent travels, and food you've eaten. They may inquire about any recent consumption of unpasteurized dairy products, deli meats, or other high-risk foods. 
Understanding your dietary habits and travel history can provide essential clues for an accurate diagnosis. To confirm the diagnosis, your doctor may order a blood test or a spinal tap, also known as a lumbar puncture, if they suspect meningitis. Blood tests can reveal the presence of listeria bacteria in your bloodstream, while a spinal tap can detect the bacteria in your cerebrospinal fluid, which surrounds your brain and spinal cord. These tests can detect the presence of listeria bacteria in your body. The laboratory will culture the samples to identify the specific bacteria causing the infection. This process can take a few days, but it is essential for confirming the diagnosis and guiding appropriate treatment. Early diagnosis and treatment are essential for improving outcomes, especially in high-risk individuals. Pregnant women, newborns, elderly individuals, and those with weakened immune systems are particularly vulnerable to severe complications from listeriosis. Prompt medical intervention can significantly reduce the risk of serious health issues. If you experience any symptoms of listeriosis, don't hesitate to contact your healthcare provider. Early communication with your doctor can lead to quicker diagnosis and treatment, potentially preventing more severe illness. Always be proactive about your health and seek medical advice if you have any concerns. The primary treatment for listeriosis is antibiotics. These medications help to kill the bacteria and prevent further complications. The type of antibiotic and the duration of treatment will depend on the severity of the infection and the individual's overall health. It's crucial to complete the full course of antibiotics as prescribed by your doctor, even if you start feeling better before finishing all the medication. Preventing listeria contamination starts at home with proper food safety practices. Here are some essential tips to keep your kitchen safe and your family healthy. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds before and after handling food, especially raw meat, poultry, and seafood. Hand washing is one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of bacteria and ensure that your food remains safe to eat. Wash cutting boards, countertops, and utensils with hot soapy water after each use. This helps to eliminate any bacteria that may have been transferred during food preparation. Consider using a separate cutting board for raw meat and produce to avoid cross-contamination. Keeping your kitchen surfaces clean is crucial in preventing the spread of listeria. Use a food thermometer to ensure that meat, poultry, and seafood are cooked to a safe internal temperature. Cooking food to the right temperature kills harmful bacteria, including listeria. Make sure to check the internal temperature of your food to guarantee it is safe to consume. Refrigerate perishable foods within two hours of cooking or purchasing. Keeping your refrigerator at 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, or colder is essential to slow the growth of bacteria. Proper refrigeration helps to maintain the safety and quality of your food. Always store leftovers promptly and ensure that your fridge is not overcrowded to allow proper air circulation. You can also prevent listeria contamination when dining out or purchasing food from grocery stores and deli counters. Avoid high-risk foods like deli meats, hot dogs, unpasteurized milk, and soft cheeses unless they are heated to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Celsius. Always check the expiration dates on food labels and discard any expired products. When ordering at a deli counter, request freshly sliced meats and cheeses. Avoid letting raw meat, poultry, or seafood come into contact with ready-to-eat foods. Occasionally, there are outbreaks of listeriosis linked to contaminated food products. These outbreaks highlight the importance of staying informed about food safety recalls. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, and the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, provide regular updates on food recalls and outbreaks. You can sign up for email alerts or visit their websites for the latest information. If you believe you may have consumed a recalled product, contact your healthcare provider immediately, even if you don't have any symptoms. Listeria is a serious foodborne illness. 
but by understanding how it spreads and practicing safe food handling habits, you can significantly reduce your risk of infection. Remember to wash your hands frequently, cook food thoroughly, and keep your kitchen clean. Be mindful of high-risk foods and stay informed about food safety recalls. By taking these simple steps, you can protect yourself and your family from listeriosis.